Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I want to share five totally free and extremely feature rich apps for the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, these apps are exclusive for Samsung users and they can be found in the Galaxy Apps Store rather than the Google Play Store. So let's dive in and go grab all these apps that will enhance the ownership of your Note 8. Now, before we dive in, if you do use Instagram and Twitter, make sure to follow me on both at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's go. All right, so before I showcase every single app I wanna talk about in this video, let me show you which store to go to get these apps. Like I said, they're not in the Google Play Store. So go to your app drawer and find the folder that is titled Samsung, tap on it, and then simply go into the Galaxy apps and then tap on where it says exclusives. And this is where all the apps are going to reside. When you do tap on exclusives, you do have to scroll down just a little bit until you see the Galaxy Essentials square, and then you go right inside, and all the apps that I'm gonna talk about are gonna be right here. Now, as you can see, there are so many apps here, but I'm gonna pick the five top ones that I personally like and use. All right, so the first app I'm gonna talk about is called the Art Canvas. So you can tap this guy, and really quick, if you can't find the Galaxy apps, simply come to this app screen and just search for it. So you can. Uh, typing Galaxy apps right here and that will also bring up that application that allows you to download all the apps All right, so you can tap this and you can search for individual apps I'm going to be showing right here. So let's talk about the first app go to the folder right here and let's launch it It's called the art canvas. Let's tap on it and frankly I'm really really impressed that this application here is in fact free now this application is all about art and drawing you can use your S Pen if you want to or you can use your fingers and basically, as you can see, here's a couple of um, samples. Uh, this is the kind of stuff you can easily create if you have the patience and the skills for it uh, in the Art Canvas application. Now, let me create a new Art Canvas here. This is a blank slate. Allows you to pick a size. You tap on this. And then allows you to pick a texture for your canvas. And then you can do Create. And then what you have here is you have all these tools at the bottom. You've got the Pencil tool. And as you can see, it's completely customizable. Uh, you have, this is the water ink brush tool actually. Uh, you have the uh, other tools here, the water color brush. You have the um, oil brush. I'm not gonna show you everything. I just wanna show you guys that every single thing here is customizable and you have all these options. You can also change the color right over here uh, from that color palette. And you can even, even tap this arrow here that expands this so you can actually test drive the color uh, before you use it on the actual canvas. Okay, so it's a pretty advanced little thing, but the biggest thing I, I really like on this one is the fact that it has layers. So if you're a graphic designer or you're somebody that uses Photoshop, you understand what layers are. Uh, if you tap this thing over here, you can actually create multiple layers and work off of each layer, which actually allows you to be more precise with your drawing. But yeah, that's basically the art canvas. It's a fantastic utility. Uh, let's discard that. Uh, but it's going to give you the option if you have the patience like i said if you have the patience for it you can create uh, things just like this over here all right so go grab it and let's move on to the next application all right so the next application is called the car mode app so that's the actual name and it's designed so you can use it while you're driving your car it simply transforms your phone into a smaller phone into an easier to use phone that allows you to concentrate on driving while still have access to some of the basic functions uh, on your car. Let me X that out. So as you can see, you have this easy interface and from the interface, you can access the phone, the messages, find my car, play music, locations, settings. Uh, you can access maps and music. And of course, if you scroll over here, you have access to a widget screen and a music player. Everything is designed to be easily accessible so you don't have to uh, press too many buttons. Now, before you start to drive, you can launch this anyway, and you can do some modifications to it. But for example, if you want to play music, you tap on this, and from here you can select the music, you can play, pause, next track, uh, you can reduce the volume, and you can go to the library, and you can even search for music. Okay, so this one runs through Google Play Music, and you can also go over here, you have access to maps. This is just a regular map, so you're going to have full access to it, and you also have the music uh, player app if you have that downloaded. And of course, uh, just as basic things right over here. If you do go into the settings, you can uh, modify certain things. For example, you can create things like My Places. You can, it can be your home, your office, your favorite restaurant. 
Uh, you can modify the widgets that I showed you. So if you go back to the main screen, you scroll over, you see a bunch of widgets. You can actually modify them through the widget screen setup right here, okay? And you also have access to all these things such as do not disturb, and you can enable a wake up command so you can go completely hands-free with the car mode app. So if I tap on this thing, it says, uh, if you enable this, you can say things like high galaxy and give it quick commands that gonna allow, that, that's gonna allow you to uh, control the car mode just with your voice, which is also desirable. And of course, my favorite feature is safe parking location. So if you're using the car mode, you can always save the parking location of your car so you can never lose where you park the car, especially when you're in high traffic areas. And the other thing I wanna show you is the default apps here in the settings. If you tap this, you can see that when you go to the navigation app, you can actually download a bunch of free navigation apps you can use, and these are actually pretty cool, okay? So Google Maps obviously is the best maps application out there, but you can download these guys. They use the same kind of database, and they have some different interfaces that you might enjoy. Uh, okay, so that's that, more navigation apps, but that is the car mode. Just got downloaded, it's free and it's full of features. Uh, give it a try and let's move on for now to the next app. And of course, when you're done driving and you wanna exit the car mode, you tap the back arrow key here. It's gonna ask you close the car mode, you say close, and then you're good to go. All right, let's move on to the next application. Now the next application is called the Movie Maker. This is actually a free movie creation tool uh, for your Samsung Galaxy phone. So it's right here, let's launch it. And I'm gonna show you guys, all you do with this thing is you click the plus sign and you start to pick some photos, some videos, and everything gets auto-arranged to create an amazing movie for you that you can then modify. So here's a project that I created, and all I did was I added four photos. So if I tap this, it's gonna open the project. As you can see, there's one photo here, another photo here, third, five photos, okay? So I have five photos of my car right there. And what, what I can do is I can add a theme to it. So I can pick an active theme, a compelling theme, romantic, loving theme, if that's what you're making, and all these vibrant theme options. So when you add a theme, it just adds music to the background uh, along with some graphics. And let me play this movie that I just created in literally 30 seconds. Okay, and you can see what it is capable of. So I did change the orientation of the phone so you can see it easier. So again, this is the whole um, area where you can work on. Okay, and you can also uh, change the size of these things if you wanted to. You can actually make the movie longer or shorter. But uh, let's play this movie and let me show you how easy it is to create a really nice looking movie in less than 30 seconds by using a couple of photos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click play and then I'm gonna click full screen so you can see the entire thing. So play. All right, so as you can see, that was a that was a really nice movie, and I, I was able to create that in 30 seconds. And again, if you tap on this theme, you can basically just change the theme on the fly. I can tap on active, and it's gonna say apply the theme. You say apply, and again, the images remain the same, but you can change the text now, but the music and the effects, all these things change automatically. So if I uh, click play now, you're gonna see something a little bit different. So as you can see, both the music, uh, the, the transition effects, and the graphics are changed slightly. Again, a great tool to have for free. All right, let's go and take a look at the next application. All right, the next application, again, is for fun. Okay, it's called the Recolor. And again, I'm very surprised that this app comes for free. So let's launch it. It's basically a color book, but it's not for kids. So let's launch it. And uh, you get access to all this library of uh, different things you can actually color. And let's just pick one example. Let's uh, pick this uh, deer right here. Okay, it's gonna download that, it's gonna launch it. 
And from here, you can start to color this for fun. And I'm gonna show you what you can do. You can do much more than just coloring the actual picture. So let's just pick a color here. Uh, let's color the background here to red and uh, or whatever color that is. Let's give this uh, deer an orange color. Let's swipe over, you have all these options. Let's pick a uh, blue color here and tap right here. Uh, as you can see, the trees are now uh, bluish or green and, and everything just changes and looks better. You can also write on this thing if you tap this, you can use your S Pen to write on it or you can use your fingers. But once you're done coloring your actual art, uh, you click OK and that gives you some effects you can add to your uh, project. So you can go shadow, as you can see it looks beautiful. You can go art paper, crumbled paper right here. You can go wall, uh, concrete, you can go brick wall, and you can do all these nice things that's gonna make your uh, creation stand out and be unique, all right? And again, like I said, let's go back out here for a second. You have access to all these image libraries. There's a lot of them, okay? You, I'm sure you'll be able to find something uh, to kill some time right here, okay? And then every uh, 18 hours here, it's saying new pictures will appear in 18 hours and 14 minutes. So every 24 hours, they change and add new pictures. Here's some free ones, recommended ones, popular ones. You have some three-dimensional ones, so you get some really advanced stuff right here animals, birds, you can go by all these different categories. This is absolutely fantastic. The fact that it's free just blows the mind away. So go grab it and let's move on to the final application. All right, so the final application is called the optical reader. If you launch the optical reader, what this allows you to do is it allows you to take pictures of documents and combine them into a single file as it says right here. Now, because the phone is sitting flat on the table, it's hard for me to show you guys, but basically uh, you can take the picture of a document you put under the camera. Uh, you can tap on settings here. That allows you to update this app if you want. You can actually uh, turn on the flashlight. If you're taking a picture of a document, you can use the flashlight to see it better. Scan the document. And of course, you can tap this icon to access your gallery. So if you already have a document in your gallery, you can also scan that and make it part of one big uh, scanned document. Now this thing is gonna be great for receipts and stuff. And uh, again, I'm sorry I cannot show you because of the way the phone is sitting here. But you can, you know, uh, scan receipts. You can scan other documents. You can scan mail that you were sent that's important or any other important document that you please. And again, the great news is this application is also free, okay? So this was the final free application I wanted to talk about. And just to be clear, make sure you go to the Samsung folder and look for Galaxy apps. If you can't find this folder, just go over here and search for Galaxy apps. Like I said, Galaxy apps, launch it. And every single app that I showed you can be searched via this location. If you just wanna go directly to the app, just tap on exclusives, scroll down to where it says uh, Galaxy Essentials, tap it, and they'll be sitting in this uh, big list. And while you're here, don't hesitate to look at other apps I only want to share the five ones that I really like myself, but there's so many more here you can download and enjoy. Well, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech and give this video a thumbs up. Also, follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Saki Tech Online, for which links are in the description below. Have a fantastic day.